Welcome to a thrilling journey through the sixth episode of Invasion Season 2, known as Pressure Points. This action-packed episode is filled with surprises and adventures. In this recap, we'll take you through the exciting events of the episode, including Anisha and Luke's challenges, the stupid kids in Paris, Mitsuki's unexpected journey, and much more. Join us as we explore the key moments of this episode in a simple and easy-to-understand way. The episode begins with Anisha and Luke. They are part of a group stranded about 100 miles away from Camp Pierce in Wyoming, where they believe Sarah is held by the military. They are worried about a strange alien shard in their vehicle. Suddenly, Luke starts hearing voices in his head, and he warns the group about danger. Hunter-killer aliens appear from the mist and chase the group. Many vehicles are attacked, but Anisha and Clark's vehicle miraculously escapes. It's unclear how many people are hurt. Unfortunately, Anisha's vehicle flips over while trying to avoid another car. In Paris, there's a group of kids without Darwin, who is in the hospital due to an injury from a previous episode. They decide to spend the night at Monty and Penn's house and plan to visit the hospital the next day. They enjoy being in a nice house. As they talk about their plans, Monty reminds them that they might not find Casper in the hospital. That's hard to hear for Jamila, who is not thinking clearly. Unexpectedly, the episode focuses on Mitsuki. Nikhil and Mitsuki talk about her returning to the alien force, but they decide to test her first. It's a big deal because if she fails, it could be really bad for the ongoing fight. Mitsuki reluctantly agrees but fails the test. Maya, who's in charge, pushes Mitsuki hard, like the alien force does. At the same time, Anisha and the kids wake up, but Clark is hurt. They find out that some of the convoy survived and joined them. Hanley wants to camp for the night, but Anisha thinks they should keep moving because the aliens won't stop chasing them. Back in Paris, Jamila can't sleep because she doesn't hear Casper's voice in her dreams. This makes her think he might be waking up from his coma, which is a good thing. Monty, who is awake talks to Jamila about his feelings regarding his father's absence. They have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. The episode gets intense when Mitsuki decides to go back to the alien world. She talks to Hinata, who tells her to take off her helmet to reveal something. Mitsuki does it, and everyone outside is surprised. Mitsuki is suddenly on a calm beach, like the one from Hinata's childhood. She starts making strange hand movements and Maya gets worried about her health. Tomas realizes Mitsuki is using Morse code to communicate and decides not to take her out. The alien force wants Mitsuki to stay in this dreamlike place, but she says no. Maya uses electromagnets to hurt the alien force, and Mitsuki passes out. They take her out. When Mitsuki wakes up, she can understand the alien language because of the vibrations during the electromagnetic disturbance. This is a big deal because it could help them understand the aliens better. Jamila and her group finally reach the hospital but see that it's been attacked by aliens. This makes Jamila very upset. They hear tapping sounds from one room, and it turns out Casper has woken up. There's a heartwarming reunion. Back with Anisha and the group, Luke has another strange experience. He points to a group of sleeping aliens, and they all run away. They get chased by one alien, but they reunite with Bradford on the other side. Rachel realizes her daughter is missing in the woods. Anisha goes to find her and succeeds but encounters an alien. Clark can't shoot the alien because he might hurt Anisha and the child, so Luke uses his mind to control the alien, saving the day. 